Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to use the auto pitch in BandLab. The auto pitch is an effect that adjusts the pitch of your voice to match a note on a keyboard. A natural voice tends to slide between one note to another and slightly modulates on and off of that note, whereas keyboard sits precisely on the note and when it moves from one note to another it moves straight to that note and then stays fixed on that note. So when you use auto pitch, the more auto pitch you add to your voice, the more you will start to sound like a keyboard. So here is how to use auto pitch. Open the BandLab app. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the plus icon, tap on the voice mic icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the round red record button and record your vocals. Then tap on the strange red little square button that is now where the round red button was to stop recording. I'm waiting at the station for the train coming down the track. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on auto pitch. Drag the white line on the auto pitch wheel all the way round to max. By placing your finger on the middle of the wheel and dragging your finger up the screen. Now at the bottom of the screen, tap the back to beginning icon, then the play icon to listen to your vocal recording. I'm waiting at the station for the train coming down the track. This is the maximum amount of auto pitch that BandLab can add to your vocal track. The auto pitch is most noticeable when your vocals move between different notes or pitches. So for instance, when you go from singing high to singing low. Now drag the white line back to the center point of the auto pitch wheel by placing your finger on the middle of the auto pitch wheel and dragging your finger down the screen. Now, at the bottom of the screen, tap the back to the beginning icon, then the play icon to listen to your vocal recording again. I'm waiting at the station for the train coming down the track. Less of the auto pitch effect will now be heard on your vocal track. Drag the white line to off by placing your finger on the middle of the auto pitch wheel and dragging your finger down the screen to turn the auto pitch effect off. Auto pitch works quite well when your voice is only slightly out of tune. But if your voice is quite a bit out of tune, auto pitch can end up moving the pitch of your voice to the wrong note. So if you know what key the song is in, you can change auto pitch so it is set to the key of the song. So it only picks the notes that are suitable for that song. Just below the auto pitch wheel is a key slider. With the white dot in the center of the slider, the auto pitch is set to chromatic. This means it will move your vocal pitch to the nearest keynote on a standard keyboard. But if you know what key your song is in, you can move the white dot on the slider with your finger either to the left or right, to select the correct key for your song. Then the word chromatic at the right of the slider will change to the key name. For instance, in my song, I sing pitches G, C and D, which are notes of the key G. So I can set the slider to key G. I'm waiting at the station for the train coming down the track. Now the auto pitch will move my vocals to notes that are only in the key of G instead of just to the nearest key note. I'm waiting at the station. 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 If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.